Hi everyone, I'm Christy McCammon and I share tips, tools, and recipes to help you on your journey towards food freedom. This is a food, but it's not technically a recipe, it's a tool. So my job in my recovery and food freedom and all of that has been prioritizing making food simple that I can feed my family and have just a little modification for myself. So that's been my priority since day one. I want to fit my life into healing from food addiction and freeing myself from food addiction. So this is a very simple tool. You won't believe it. All that you're gonna do is, we're going to make say a tostado shell or a taco cup, okay, with a cheese. You can buy some things like this in the store. I see all kinds of stuff out right now, but it's simple to make. You just need some cheese slices and you're gonna have your oven to 375. Take your cheese slices and you're gonna set them on your tray. Parchment paper is a gift, so buy parchment paper, use it, it's awesome. So I just have some Colby Cheddar Jack, or Colby, Colby Jack Cheddar, whatever you call it. And I have a Monterey Jack with jalapeno, so like a pepper jack cheese. So I'm just gonna cook up both of these and then I'll show you what I do with them after they're cooked. So again, this is kind of a tool with something that's already simple, may even be in your fridge. Okay, I'm gonna pop them in the oven, 375, six to seven minutes, and then I'll show you that's where the magic happens. I'm gonna pull them out of the oven, and I want you to see this bubbly goodness. This cheese has melted. We simply let it cool for about three minutes or so until it's still pliable and you can handle it. I have pulled it out of the oven, as you saw, and pulled the parchment paper off. It cools a little faster, and you can see it's still somewhat pliable and can move. So I'm gonna put this one in a little, like a, you could get a ramekin or a muffin tin even, and I'm gonna let it finish cooling in here, and that's gonna make a little taco cup. And then I can weigh it to see, to determine how much of my protein it's gonna count for. And I'll do, let me do a pepper jack one in there, that kind of spread out a little more. You can use a low fat cheese or a regular cheese, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm gonna let those cool a little bit longer now. And then these I'm just gonna leave flat and then they'll end up being like a tostada. Here they are. These two are gonna be tostada. Look at that, stays totally flat. And two of these, I just weighed them, two of these weighs one ounce. So if you want two of these for your meal, it would be a half of your protein or one ounce of cheese can count as your fat. So totally up to you how you measure it out. I like to use two of them. I've already has this one as the little cup that I cooled in the dish or ramekin or muffin tin. But all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a tostada now. I'm gonna put beans and I would do the rest of my protein and beans. A little bit of lettuce, maybe a little bit of sour cream. You could do avocados, tomatoes, whatever you want. And then I love a little bit of hot sauce. So your favorite hot sauce. And that's just a free condiment, so that's kind of fun. And it's ready to go. So when you serve your family tostadas, all you need to do is this. So again, not really a recipe, but a tool. I have learned that the key to keeping off weight and continuing to have food freedom is to fit food into your recovery and into your healing, into your meal planning and making that the priority. So this is just a simple tool, another way you can do that. And eat.